Hey folks, how would you like to win $10,000 for catching a channel catfish? Stay tuned, I'm gonna tell you how. Let me tell you how this story came to be, folks. 1949, Roy Groves caught a monster catfish. It was the talk of the town. It was huge. It was a massive monster catfish. And he had pictures of it. And he had it weighed on certified scales at 55 pounds. Uh, the state was called in. It was certified. And it went into the record books as the South Dakota state record for a channel catfish at 55 pounds. Well, over the years, there was a lot of rumors and talk about the fish not being a channel catfish. Instead, a lot of people thought it was a blue catfish. Now, one of the cool things that happened with this trophy catch was there were a lot of pictures of it, a lot of good pictures of it. And that's kind of rare uh, on a fish from the 1940s. You gotta remember folks, not everybody had a camera back then. It's not like today where everybody's got a camera on their iPhone. Uh, the other thing was uh, you had to have a camera, you had to have film in it. Uh, you had to actually buy film to put in it. So, the, you know, and people ran out of film. You had people sitting around with cameras without film. On top of that, it had to be exposed right. It's not like today where you just point and shoot and boom, you got a picture. Back then you had to expose it right. Otherwise, uh, the picture wouldn't come out. Then, you had to send the picture off, the film off, get it processed, print it, and get it sent back to you. Back then, this was a 10-day process to get this done. So the fact that we've got some images of this fish, several of them, is pretty cool and pretty rare. Now the downside is, is that those images are what actually led to the demise of this state record. Uh, after a lot of uh, pushing from anglers, the state finally stepped in and said, hey, this isn't a channel catfish, this is a blue catfish, and the record was taken away. Well, since that happened, a couple of people have stepped up with channel catfish, had them weighed in and certified, and a new state record has been established. Now, the good news is the state record's not all that high, so a new one can be caught. So you'll probably ask yourself, how are you gonna win $10,000? If you're familiar with big cat fever rods and catch the fever, they have a program where if you catch a state record fish uh, that is certified and if you go through all the steps in their process, you can win $10,000. That's right, folks. If you catch a state record fish on a big cat fever rod, catch the fever rod, you can win $10,000. Now, I'm going to put some links uh, to their website and the list of rules down in the description section below. Go through and read them. They're very specific and it's very well defined as to what you have to do to win this record. So make sure you read them, make sure you follow them. Most of all, make sure you're fishing with a big cat fever rod because you have to catch it on that rod. And for $10,000, I would guess there's probably gonna be a lie detector test to make sure that you're telling the truth. So for all you folks out there in South Dakota and people that are fairly close, that record is well within reach uh, and will probably be broken several times over the next a year or so. So good luck to you. I hope it's somebody I know. I hope it's a subscriber to the channel and uh, I look forward to seeing how that record grows with a legitimate channel catfish.